People online have told me to stay away from the Pro Mag magazine and only to use the Genoine FNH magazines for my PS90 rifle. I didn't take them seriously at first because, to be quite honest, for 300 rounds, the initial 300 rounds I have fired out of this magazine, not a single issue ever occurred. However, beginning at round number 301 to maybe about 310, you know, that's, that's only 10 rounds, or basically the, uh, the seventh magazine full loading of this thing, I began to suffer serious issues of failure to load, and that failure of loading is stove piping. What is happening is that the, the shell, as it's being pushed forward by the bolt, it's coming out at too steep of an angle, just like this. Now, in my previous video, I had described that I had concerns about the wobbliness of the shell in the ready ramp. There's too much yawing left and right here and uh, there's too much of a pitch of an angle. There's too much free pitching actually while the shell is in the ready ramp. Now, I'm just simply using these uh, empty brass casings to demonstrate what, it, what is happening but let me take them out and show the, uh, the cause of the problem. Right here as you can see right where my fingernail is pointing there is some wear. It's actually a, a lot noticeable. There's also quite some nicks and tears over here from the plastic. I believe the plastic is actually pretty bad. It's not a good uh, quality plastic at all. And over here, I believe this side is worn down so much. That is the root of the problem. That's why the shell, why the shell in the ready ramp is cocked at such a terrible angle and not held in place properly for good proper loading. This particular round showcases one of the really bad stove piping loadings that I had this afternoon. The shell is scratched up at various places here. And over here is where the bolt slammed against the side of the shell as it was stove piped in my rifle. And at the top over here the neck is just about mangled. Look at that, it's loose. This is a American Eagle ammo. It's glued, the, the projectile is glued into the casing. But that is not the fault of the poor loading. The poor loading is the magazine and the angle that this thing was trying to feed the ammo in. It pushed this with so much force that even a properly crimped shell would have deformed in this very same manner. Now this is pushed over so hard that the glue was completely overcome and you can pull that out with your fingers very easily. There's unburnt powder at the bottom of the shell. It's hard to see. I'm trying to get the camera to show the uh, the minute fine pellets down at the bottom. And uh, here's the unstruck primer. This shell is just too dangerous to fire. There's no way I am going to even attempt to try. I'm not going to knock on Federal Ammunition, American Eagle Ammunition, for this poor loading. Uh, I've shot over 700 rounds of Federal Ammunition with no problems whatsoever. Uh, this one only became a problem because of the magazine. Now, every single other round, again all of it American Eagle, that I've fired out of a Genoine FNH magazine, they have fired and not suffered any sort of loading issues whatsoever. Now, this magazine, uh, it gave me 10 straight failure to feeds. All 10 of those loadings today were all in, resulting in stove piping. After the 10th round, the 10th attempt, I emptied the magazine and uh, put this one out of service. There's no way I'm going to use this magazine anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take, take advantage of Pro Mag's lifetime warranty and uh, get this sucker traded in and get a refund on it.